listen to this. Sometimes little things, the ones you think are insignificant, can keep you from abundant blessings. A little envy, a little greed, little pride, little compromise, a little jealousy can be of great endurance. To make a big difference, you must replace them with the love and kindness of God, which will never be wasted. This is a devotional that was sent to me, so I'm sharing it with you. What they do is they bless the one who receives them, and they bless the giver also. A blessed person walks according to the course of heaven and not according to the course of this world. A blessed person put the whole self down and put on the new man, the free you, the one that keeps you blessed, make you the happy, grateful, and victorious you. Being grateful for the simple blessings in life opens the door to abundant happiness. Sometimes we take for granted things and we call them little things. We take for granted life until life is gone when somebody that you really care about has passed away. Then it really dawned on you the importance of life. Sometimes we take for granted even the breath that we breathe. And if you have a cold and your nose is stuffy and you can't breathe properly through your nose, then you realize the, the privilege it is to breathe through your nose. This stuff that we take for granted, take nothing for granted. Life is precious and we are privileged to be alive. It is nothing good that we have done, but it's because of the grace of God. While we are here, while we are standing, while we are here to testify of his grace and of his mercy. So take nothing for granted. Nothing at all for granted. Remember that Jesus paid the price for our sins. Our lives are in his hands. We belong to him. So take nothing for granted nothing at all for granted our fingers the members of our body take nothing for granted when your finger is hurt and you 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 realize the the benefit of that finger because it's hurt and you can move as you usually do with your hand because your finger is hurting so take nothing for granted nothing at all for granted watch your blessings multiply Watch your blessings multiply, not your problems. Do not dwell on the problems. Do not dwell on what is happening around you, but focus on God. Focus on God. Ask him what is the lesson to be learned. You talk back to God, you know. You talk to God and say, Lord, why am I going through this? What do you want me to learn from this? Why are you allowing this to happen? The Lord will talk back to you. The Lord operates in so many ways that if he doesn't explain it to you you won't know because it's not clear to the physical man he has to open your spiritual eyes for you to know what is happening so talk to the lord and ask him and ask him to give you the strength to endure to persevere so that you will come out victorious you will come out strong because he's with you and he's carrying you through. He's allowed whatever it is to happen so that you can become stronger in him and trust him wholeheartedly. In Jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8, the NLT version reads, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along a river bank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. So be rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ. Be connected to the true vine. Be connected to the true vine 
so that you will bear fruits you will bear fruits your leaves will not wither whatsoever you touch will prosper be connected to the true vine and remember take nothing for granted take nothing for granted because tomorrow is not promised it is because of god's grace while we're here many didn't wake up to see the dawn of today many left home and didn't go back home they ended up somewhere else and you are still here you went out and you came back in the lord took you home in one piece and you're there spending time with your family take nothing for granted because tomorrow is not promised remember to stay connected to the true vine focus on the things of god and take nothing for granted stay blessed